good morning students in the previous lecture we discussed green's function for a ball and today we will discuss energy methods energy method is a technique to prove the uniqueness of solution of a given boundary value problem so here today we will discuss the uniqueness of the solution of boundary value problem for the poisson's equation so we have the statement of the theorem let us consider the boundary value problem for the poisson's equation poisson's equation is the equation laplacian of u is equal to minus f in the set u and the condition with it is that the value of this function on the boundary of u is g so this represents boundary value problem for poisson's equation we are to prove that there exist at most one solution u of this boundary value problem here this function u is twice continuously differentiable function defined on closure of u now to prove the uniqueness of solution let us consider two solutions of this boundary value problem one of the solutions we have denoted by u and other we have denoted by u bar now let us define a function w by taking the difference so we have defined w is equal to u minus u bar now let us find the laplacian of function w so from here that will become laplacian of u minus laplacian of u bar now because u is the solution of uh, this boundary value problem so laplacian of u that is minus f also the function u bar that is a solution of given boundary value problem so laplacian of u bar that is also minus f in the set u so laplacian of w becomes zero in the set u now let us find the value of function w on the boundary now because w is u minus u bar and on the boundary of set u value of function u is g and also the value of function u bar that is g so w will become zero on the boundary of u so we can say that the function w is such that it is harmonic function in the set u and its value on the boundary that is zero now if we consider the integral of uh, w into laplacian of w over the set u then we can see that uh, because laplacian of w is zero on the set u this term is zero so this integral will become zero now let us apply green's formula according to green's formula integral of u into laplacian of v over the set u this is given by integral over the boundary of u of the function u into curl v by curl nu minus integral over the set u dv dot du now using this formula here for the functions w here u and v both our functions are we have taken as w so using this formula we have integral over the set u w into laplacian of w is equal to integral 
over the boundary of u of the function w into curl w by curl nu minus integral over the set u dw dot dw dw means gradient of w now because the value of function w that is zero on the boundary of u so this term will become zero so the integral of uh, w into del w over the set u that is equal to minus integral over u dw dot dw now because this term is zero and this is also zero so we can say that integral of dw dot dw over the set u that is zero now dw dot dw means dw mod square so we get integral of dw mod square over the set u that is zero now we know that if a function is non negative function on a set a and if the integral of the function over that set a that is zero then the function is also zero so using this property here because here our function is dw mod square and being the square this is non negative over the set u so by using this property we can say that dw mod square that will be zero in u now again because modulus is non negative quantity so if the mod of dw is zero in the set u then dw is also zero in the set u so from here we can say that w is constant within u now uh, we have already proved that w is zero on the boundary of u now we are to prove that the value of w is zero in u also so by using this condition we will have to prove that w is zero in the set u now to prove this uh, we can use the property which we already proved we proved that uh, laplacian of w is zero in the set u so we can say that the function w satisfies laplace equation and if a function satisfies laplace equation then the function is harmonic function so we can say that the function w is harmonic function and being a harmonic function this function will be continuous function so we can use the continuity of function w to prove that the function w is zero in the set u so let us take a point a belonging to the boundary of set u now because the function w is continuous function and by definition of continuity if a function is continuous at a point then left hand limit right hand limit and the value of the function at that point all are same so here we can say that the left hand limit of the function w as x approaches to a that will be same as the value of function w at a now because uh, a is a point on the boundary of u and on the boundary of u the function w is zero so we can say that the value of function w at the point a is zero this term is zero so we can say that the value of the function w that is zero on the left of a it means we can say that the limit of the function w as x approaches to a from left that is zero so this proves that the function w is zero in the set u now because w is defined uh, to be u minus u bar so we can say that u minus u bar is zero in the set u so this proves that u is same as u bar 
in the set U. So this proves the uniqueness of the solution of the boundary value problem for the Poisson's equation.